Hello all. Uh, as per you know, the few days back, I had shared uh, my Sabado Kamandukla, and uh, it's a very famous recipe of the good juice. And uh, you know, um, we just love it uh, to have it in, either in the main meal or the snacks, like you know, having with the chutneys and etc. So, but the, again, the thing was like nominally, this uh, dhoklas are made up of originally, it was obviously the fermented recipe, but later on, people wanted to have the instant and it turned you know to using the baking soda and the fruit salt like eno etc there is no harm to use the baking soda in the minimal uh, quantity but again uh, when you you know come to the health part of it uh, it is at uh, alkaline base so it reduces your stomach acidity level when you have it and when you season with the oil or something like that it absorbs a good quantity of the oil so uh, that's the reason and also i just wanted to experiment with the sabado so how we are getting the lightness in that and uh, uh, of course, you can use your sardo discard this way as well as uh, without any baking soda and you can just make it, you know, uh, just in few hours for your family. So, let's start. Uh, this is the, sorry, the basin. It is approx, you can say 130 grams. Uh, uh, it's one cup approx. So, 130 to 150 grams uh, is the basin. Then I have the, I have kept mix, you know, of the uh, salt and turmeric, salt to taste and the turmeric just to get the color. I have also taken a one tablespoon of uh, semolina, the suji, okay. And uh, here is the main ingredient. I have taken the half cup of my discard. So it will give some sourness also in it and it will help to get a lighter texture and the fluffiness and yes the oil uh, i will take one tablespoon of oil and uh, i have also taken the green uh, chili and the ginger paste it gives a very nice taste okay and uh, i have taken a thali which i'll grease with the oil because whatever i will do the mixture in this and uh, the mixture uh, i will pour in this thali and let the thali in the thali itself let the uh, batter get fermented so you will get a nice rise okay so and then once you get a nice rise a doubled or something like that and you can simply steam it so i will show you uh, how to steam as well but right now we are just fermenting it right so let's start i'm just greasing the thali and keeping ready and here uh, it's a medium size okay it's not a very big size uh, it's a medium size and uh, sufficient for like you know two to three people uh, like depends on the taste how you eat it <laughs> so you can uh, make accordingly if you want more okay so let me start how to make the mixture and yes we may need the water if only you know the batter is very thick if it is covered with the discard then we may not add the water okay so i'm just taking uh, that one cup of the basin flour uh, it is i also it is organic flour like you know i had uh, i do source from shop for chain the chanadal and i do meal at my uh, home in my mock mill so it gives very fine texture so you do take the fine texture flour okay adding the semolina to it and i'm adding a semolina is optional it's your choice uh, to add or not this is the salt and the turmeric powder i'm just adding to it uh, going to add the one tablespoon of the oil just okay and also i am going to add the 
ginger paste. Uh, my family they like spicy food, so I take you know some more. Otherwise, as per your taste, you can take. I have taken approx, you can say one teaspoon. And I'm going to add the starter to it. So that's my discard actually. The sourdough discard. I had taken from my fridge and I'm just going to add this right now. Okay. And just stir it nicely. small so uh, we may need some more water so I may add like you know uh, maybe one fourth cup and uh, we'll check how it is giving the consistency it should not be very runny it should not be very thick like a dough but it has to be a medium uh, say idli consistency okay so I'm just adding some more water to it Uh, so it's one fourth cup of the water. Let's see if it needs some more then I may add some more. Just mix it nicely. It is some thick so I may need some more water and I will add. If you have like you know diluted curd, we say like a chaach or buttermilk. Uh, if you have that, you can add that also some. So it gives a nice taste of the tanginess. So approximately I have taken the half cup of the water. So earlier I had added one fourth and now I had added one fourth. So half cup of the water. And you can see this, you know, it's a nice batter. Uh, Mumbai is right now warm. So the I'm keeping it at the room temperature to get it fermented. And it may take, depends on the weather, it may take, you know, uh, one and a half to three hours. Depends on the weather and you will get a nice fermentation. And if you want for a longer fermentation, then you can keep this in the fridge and uh, for some time or till the fermentation you get and uh, you can just once it is nicely fermented you can uh, steam it okay so do not keep any lump stirring it nicely so also uh, the reason to stir it nicely we just incorporating incorporating the air inside so it will help to get it more fluffy okay and uh, some some little water I may need because it was something okay yeah. I'm stirring it very fast and I'm just trying to incorporate the air inside so it will help to get a nice texture of the khaman dhokla okay so it is almost done see the stirring i have continuously stirred it so to get a you know later on the end result should be very nice okay so let me keep aside and here I'm just pouring you can just clean it up and We are done right now and uh, we'll post you uh, after a few hours. Let me check you know how I am getting the fermentation 
and we'll post in the next video. Okay, uh, do cover it and keep it at the warm temperature to get a nice, nicely I am spreading it, okay. And you can just lightly tap, see you can see the air bubbles, okay. So, once it will get a nice air and it will get the fluffiness, uh, of course what we have added the discard, even that will help it to get a nice fermentation, okay. So, I am just covering with. Okay, so this is what we are done with. Okay, so see the fermentation after 3 hours you can see and it has risen up and you can see the bubbles around and when you are touching, see, uh, though you can just uh, oil your finger and you can just touch it and it should bounce back. Okay, and there are the fermentation, you can see the bubbles inside trapped okay so uh, what i have done i have taken a big uh, kadai what i was having you can have a pan also and uh, in that you can do either uh, you get the ready you know the dokla stand in the market what you can do those four thalis uh, three or four thalis they have in that so or you can do the fill up with that let it get fermented and let that dokla stand go in the pressure cooker so you can get the if you want to make more or otherwise uh, what I have done the same way you can do or you can just make the batter in the bowl and uh, let it get fermented and how many thalis whatever you want to do the quantity you can just do the same way so I'm just keeping it you know uh, taking care of it and see it is quite nicely fermented and I am keeping it for the steaming right now okay and uh, going to keep the dish over it and it uh, on the fast flame I have kept for 10 minutes I will uh, like you know it is more it can make it may take 10 to 15 minutes you can say but uh, because uh, don't be impatient and just remove in 5 minutes otherwise it will be very kacha and uh, for seasoning I am taking you know uh, 1 to 2 teaspoon you can take uh, see the oil in it and I will do that seasoning after some time once it is more to ready and I will do that and I have taken the mustard seeds i have taken the cumins i have taken the hing and i have taken some curry patta curry patta they were in my fridge they were some dry so and i was right now i'm not having the coriander leaf otherwise you can just garnish with the fresh coriander it tastes amazing okay and also the white sesame so this i will use for the seasoning and I will do seasoning uh, just when you know 10 minutes will be done here and I will uh, start to heat the oil and I will do the seasoning and that seasoning I will pour on the dhokla itself okay okay so almost uh, you know 7 to 10 minutes uh, you can say yes it is about to 10 minutes and I would like to show you you know how it is done and uh, you can just do a steam slow and you can just check it if it is clean it is done so you know when you are see it is quite clean okay so i'm just keeping it let it get some more steam and uh, here i'm going to start my you know heating my oil and going to do the seasoning uh, so let me do that and Okay, so yeah. for the seasoning, I have taken the as I've said one to two teaspoon oil. Now in that, I am going to add the 
मास्टर सीड्स जीरा एंड हिंग ओके लेट इट गेट फ्लैटर नाइसली द ऑयल इज हॉट सो यू कैन हेयर दैट साउंड एंड आई एम एडिंग सम सेसमी सीड्स एज वेल ओके एंड लेट इट गेट नाइसली फ्लैटर द ऑयल वॉज क्वाइट हॉट सो इट हैज बीन डन नाइसली यू कैन सी दैट ओके वंस इट इज डन यू कैन जस्ट एड वन टू टू टेबल स्पून ऑफ द वॉटर टू इट ओके सो आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू एड द वॉटर एंड फर्स्ट आई विल स्विच ऑफ द गैस देन आई विल एड द वॉटर अदरवाइज इट विल टेक यू नो चांसेस आर देर इट समटाइम्स बिकॉज ऑफ द ऑयल गेट स्प्लिट आउट द इट मे गेट सम फ्लेम सो आई टू अवॉइड दैट आई एम जस्ट स्विचिंग ऑफ द गैस एंड आई एम एडिंग सम That's it. Okay. I'm just pouring the seasoning over it. You can take a help of the spoon and just spread it nicely. If you have the fresh coriander, you can just sprinkle. Uh, right now, sorry, I'm out of the coriander uh, leaves, so I am not. I have not garnished with it, but you can do that way. Okay. and see it has nicely risen you can see that okay once it gets some cool i will do the pieces out of it i will cut the pieces and i will share with you all guys okay those are the sour dough khaman dough class you can see the pores and the crumbs they are very nice of course the crumbs are uneven because we have not used the baking soda but we have allowed to have a natural fermentation so that's the reason uh, the crumbs are uneven but it is really a very light and uh, soft see it's very light and a soft khamando class you can serve with the green chutney you can serve with the red lasun chutney and they taste yum you can serve as a snacks uh, you can serve as a part of your meal and it's very famous in this season especially when you have the mango ras and the puri with that uh, these khamando class goes very well